Hello everyone, it's Miranda here. Uh, we're still waiting for an update from the National Church of England as to what we're doing with church. But in the meantime, I thought I would just come on here and say hello. Today is St. Patrick's Day. And I think St. Patrick's breastplate, which I've just posted on the St. Bride's Facebook page, is very helpful today. The idea of binding to us for protection, all those things about our faith. There are verses in there which are about binding to us the doctrines of our faith, binding to us our faith in the Incarnation, binding to us our faith in the Trinity, our faith in the de death and resurrection of Jesus. And also verses there about binding to us the beauty of nature, the things that when we look out of the window we see all around us and that help us to remember that whatever happens to us and whatever is going on in the human world, God is still good and the world that God has created is still good and great and something to delight in. It's okay to be scared. It's okay to be afraid. This is an unprecedented situation that we're just not used to. But at the same time as being afraid, we hold our faith in God alongside that and know that ultimately we are safe. I'm going to read a short reading from the very well-known 23rd Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. And the collect for St. Patrick. Almighty God, who in your providence chose your servant Patrick to be the apostle of the Irish people, Keep alive in us the fire of the faith he kindled and strengthen us in our pilgrimage towards the light of everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And the prayer that I've written for this uh, state of emergency for this pandemic, which again is on Facebook if you'd like to join with me in it. God of love, circle us with your grace and hope. Protect, we pray, all those who suffer in body, mind or spirit. Protect and strengthen all those working in our health services, all those planning in our local and national governments, all local businesses and those with financial worries, all those who are facing an increase in racism or other abuse, and all those who are already isolated or alone. Fill our parishes, our diocese, our country and our world with your spirit of love and compassion. May the light of life burn brightly in our communities, and may we know the peace that passes all understanding. Amen. I'll finish with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And may God bless you all, fill you with the light and the peace of the Spirit, and keep love and warmth inside, and any hate and fear outside. The blessing of God, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you.
and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. We're not going to be having midweek services this week and we'll keep you posted as to what else is happening, but I'll try and do this each day. Amen. Goodbye.